All right, last FRQ on the 2022 AP Physics 2 exam. As usual, if I have any corrections, I will put it in the, um, in the pinned comment. So in the instance shown above, a negatively charged object is moving left with constant velocity, V near a long straight wire. There's a current I directed to the left. The region contains a uniform electric field of magnitude E, and the charged object is distant D from the wire. The figure shows electric and magnetic forces, Fe and Fm respectively, exerted on the charged object. Okay, um, right, derive an expression of V in terms of E, D, and I in physical constants as appropriate. Oh, okay, so uh, we know that, we look at the forces here, we know the magnetic force equals the electric force, right? And the magnetic force is QVB, and we're assuming, so like this, this magnetic field is curling around, and so there's no sign, there's no angles to consider, so like it's going, like this, if you use your right hand rule, oops. Right, so this is the front, this is the back. So it's curling this way because my thumb's going to the left like that. And so it's created a magnetic field upward. So there's no there's no sign theta I need to put in there because it, it comes in into the page and the thing is moving to the left. And that equals the electric field, which is Q times the electric, the force on the electric field, which is just Q times the electric field, so the Qs cancel. So the V is equal to the E over the magnetic field, but I gotta figure out what the magnetic field is. Magnetic field from a wire uh, at a distance away is uh, mu naught over two pi r, mu naught i over two pi r. So then I would say that I would just flip this guy. So there's gonna be E over mu naught i over two pi r. And that is um, two pi r e over mu naught i. Now, um, we're distance D, so R I should replace with D. Okay, and that should be good. Yeah, good. The charged object is removed and a square of coil of side length 2L is placed near a long straight wire shown above. The bottom of the coil is distance L from the wire. The magnitude of the magnetic field due to the current in the wire is 3B0 at point P1. So they're saying the magnetic field here is 3B0 and B0 up here at point P2. Write X at a location to figure out the magnitude of the magnetic field is 2B0. Briefly justify your reasoning. Um, well, the magnetic field, wait, uh, this is caused due to the current, due to the current in the wire. Yeah, it's not like in the coil. Okay, so the B is mu naught I over 2 pi R. So let's think about this. So, if I wanted it to be twice, so so I, I want to just reason it out. I, I want to say halfway in between, but I, I want to actually reason it out and just to make sure I could. So I know it's three b zero when it's mu naught i over two pi times l, and I know it's b zero when it's mu naught i over two pi times three l. Right? So, okay, so let me think about it from B0 point of view. To get 2B0, it would have to be mu naught I, uh, well, times 2, 2 pi over 3L, right? Or if you bring that 2 on the inside, it's mu naught I over 2 pi. Um, bring it on down, it's like over 1 half, 3 halves L. So where is 3 halves L? Let's take 3L divided by 2. So it should be like right here. Yeah, and that makes sense to me. I wasn't. That's why I didn't want to go with halfway, and I wanted to convince myself. That's because if you want it to be twice as much from here, it needs to be half the distance. So let's go here. So from let's look at this equation right here. If you want b to double, that requires r to be cut in half. Right. So. Um, half of 3L. So here's where it's B0. If you want this to double, you would have to do half of 3L, which is 3 halves L. Okay, and that's how we got that. 3 halves L is right there, because this is 1, 2, 3. This is 1 and a half L's right there. Okay, over time interval, two seconds, the current in the wire is decreased. So we're gonna re -de decrease the current in the wire. The initial magnetic flux through the coil is that, and the final magnetic flux is that. The coil has a total resistance of 10 ohm. Calculate the magnitude of the average current in the coil during the two seconds time interval. Okay, 
So first, we always talk about the voltage. The voltage is the change in the flux divided by the t how much time it takes, right? So let's find the flux. Well, the change in the flux they tell you is um, you know five times ten to the minus five minus one times ten to the minus five, and that takes two seconds, right? So it's four over two or two times ten to the minus five volts. That's the voltage, but I is equal to V over R, or V equals IR. So you're going to take that number and divide it by the resistance. It's 10. So this is going to be 2 times 10 to the minus 6 amps. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all we have to do. Okay. The wire is removed and the square coil is positioned so the coil is directly above and concentric with the round coil of wire connected to the power supply. Part of the square coil is removed and a light bulb is connected to the coil. So now we're going to you know, induce this current and go through this light bulb. During a short time interval, the current in the power supply is constantly increasing. Use physics principles to explain why the light bulb is lit during the time interval. Okay, So where you're increasing the current, you're changing the magnetic field. So, by, so in, in increasing current, causes an increasing magnetic field. This means the flux, the magnetic flux, going through the coil coil is increasing. Um, which results in an induced voltage. Okay, and that voltage uh, causes a current to flow through the light bulb. bulb and light it up. Okay, I think that's it.